Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have our gameplay of Shores of Tripoli. Now, if you missed part one of this series, be sure to go back and watch that. That was the setup of the game. Shows you exactly how the board's laid out, kind of what's going on there, so be sure to check that out. Uh, this is going to be part two, which is the entire gameplay. We were able to fit all of it into one video. Normally, if the gameplay lasts longer than about an hour, I'll cut it and split it into two videos, but we got it in uh, just under an hour, it looks like. So... We're going to show that to you today. Now, before we get to that, I mean, before we get down to the game topper and show you the gameplay, I'm going to talk about our sponsor for a moment, which is Board Game Co. This is a great website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. If you are just looking to build out your collection, you, you, maybe you're missing something from your collection you've always wanted, maybe you just are still in an expansion mindset with building that collection out, getting more and more games, Go check out Board Game Co. They have a great selection of games for you to choose from. If you are looking to get rid of some games, you, you're ready to trim it down, maybe you need some more space, maybe, you know, I don't know, there's a new kid in the house and now you gotta empty out that game room and, you know, you make it into a nursery, whatever's going on, Board Game Co. will buy games off your hands and help you free up some space. Now, the trade feature is what I am really excited about, what I think is a really cool way that it works, which is if you have a Board Game Geek account and you have built a trade list over at Board Game Geek, what you want in trade, what you have for trade, then you go to Board Game Co., type in your Board Game Geek username. It will look at that trade list and then it will compare it to the stock that Board Game Go has and it will build a trade list right there on their website what they have that you want and what you have that they want. And then you can check all the different uh, check boxes and right there next to the name of the game, it has the value that Board Game Co. assigns to it. You make a trade of a roughly equal value, you know, from what you're getting from them, what you're offering to them. Then click a button, they'll review it, they'll approve it, and then you can ship your games right after them and they'll ship the games to you. I just did this recently and I gotta say I was impressed with how quickly the games got to me. So be sure to go check out Board Game Co. If you do, click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the game topper, and I'm going to show you Shores of Tripoli. I do want to mention that during this video, I make a few rules errors. I think I caught them all. I wasn't feeling particularly well when I was filming this. Uh, I actually just gotten my second uh, COVID vaccine shot, and I got a little bit of a fever, uh, about a n less than two degree fever, but it was enough to make me just kind of not quite clear headed while I was filming this. So that's kind of what's going on there. If you do catch some rules errors that I didn't catch, please leave it in the comment section below and then I'll make a note of that in the description. Okay, let's get down to the game topper and play Shores of Tripoli. All right, I think I found a slightly better uh, angle here. So we have the entire board all at once. Now, first thing that uh, I need to do on my turn is draw six cards. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got... Preble's boys take aim, play during a naval battle in a harbor. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. If played during the assault on Tripoli, only roll the extra dice in the first round of the naval battle. Let's see, we've got Congress authorizes action. Place two American frigates on the following year of the turn track. That's actually really good to get out pretty quickly if possible. Naval movement, move up to four American frigates, resolve any battles that result. The daring Stephen Decatur playable if either burn the Philadelphia or launch the Intrepid is the active card this turn. Roll two dice instead of one and choose the preferred result. Early deployment. Take, in a, take one American frigate from the following year of the turn track and place it in any naval patrol zone. Tribute paid. Move one American frigate to the harbor of an active ally of Tripoli, Algiers, Tangier, or Tunis. Return all the Corsairs from the harbor and or to the supply, the trip, the Tripolitan player receives two gold coins and General Eaton attacks Dern, move Hammett's army from Alexandria to Dern, move up to three American frigates to the harbor of Dern, resolve the battle of Dern. Okay. So on my turn, I can play these cards for their ability. And oftentimes that means the card is actually going to be removed from the game. If I do that, uh, also I can discard these cards for, um, 
uh, three other actions. I can discard a card to move two frigates anywhere on the board. I can discard a card to build a gunboat in Malta. And and, uh, and actually, that's it. I don't. I, I said three. The third is discarding the card to play the event. So, um, so I can play the event. I can build a gunboat, or I can move two frigates. All right. So, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try to get as many frigates out as possible as quickly as possible. So we're going to go ahead and play Congress authorizes action. So now you can see if played as an event, this card is removed from the game. So that one won't be coming back. Normally you run through your deck twice, but any cards that are removed don't come back. So these two frigates get added to 1802, and as soon as we enter 1802, they'll show up in Gibraltar. So that's my turn. So now uh, Tripoli goes. <clears throat> so we're gonna work our way down this line here. So uh Murad Rays breaks out play only play if there are no frigates in the naval patrol zone of Gibraltar which actually because I was messing with these frigates I left this open so there are no frigates in the naval patrol zone um oh and also it would play if it was winter of 1801 but we're not there so that so we're going to play this card Move the two Tripolitan Corsairs from the harbor of Gibraltar to the harbor of Tripoli. All right, so they move here. So now they've got seven Corsairs here in Tripoli, which is actually not good for me. Um, any American frigates in the naval patrol zone of Gibraltar may first make an interception roll, but I, of course there were not any there. And this is removed from the game. And really for Tripoli, when any time, they, they basically only go through their deck one time. So pretty much always any card other than these two is going to be removed from the game when it's used because that's, that's all. That's, that's the only time it's going to show up. All right, and then we move into summer. And so that's a full round, very quick rounds. So I don't draw new cards until we get to the new year. So now, here, let's look at this. I think... This could be very dangerous for me. So when they, if if I leave Tripoli completely undefended here in the in the naval patrol zone, and these guys go on a raid, they could get up to seven. It's unlikely, but they could get seven gold in the first raid, which would be really bad. I think I'm going to play naval movement, and we're going to go ahead and move all three of these guys to the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Now I could go in and attack, but but when I attack, they're going to attack back. And um, like if, if I were to actually go into the harbor of Tripoli, and Corsairs only take one die, one hit to sink. Um, hits are on sixes when you roll the dice. But then again, they're going to roll seven dice back at me. I'd roll six at them. They'd roll seven at me because each frigate rolls two dice. So I'd roll six. They'd roll seven. Uh, every six they get, though, is also a hit against me. Now, frigates take two hits to sink. But if a frigate takes a hit, it's damaged, it leaves the board, and, go, and we'll, won't come back out till the next year because it's got to get repaired. So for now, uh, I'm going to leave them here to do interception rolls because when Corsairs come out for pirate raids, they uh, I can shoot at them and they won't shoot back at me. So pirate raids often are, you know, you kind of have to let them come out at you and you run the risk of when they get past you, they're going to take gold. Um, so you're not being proactive, you're being reactive, but sometimes, especially early on when you've got this many Corsairs to deal with, I feel like it's probably the best plan right now. All right, so that was my turn. So now let's look at what Tripoli's going to do. We've got Constantinople sends aid. Well, that's only if uh, Dern has been captured by Hammett's army, which it hasn't. We've got uh, Yusuf Karamani. In 1801 to 1804, play of two allies are active. Well, none of their allies are active right now. So that doesn't happen. So then if none of this row is active, the first thing we check is this. If there are five or more Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli, Tripoli performs a pirate raid. Well, there certainly are. So here we go. So all seven of these guys are coming out. Now, I'm not, I'll, I'll move them out this time just to kind of show you physically what's happening. I'm probably not going to every time we do a pirate raid. So first, they move into the patrol zone right here, right? And now I'm definitely doing an interception rule. So now let's keep in mind, 
play on the first Tripolitan Pirate Raid. So they're go- Tripoli is going to be playing Happy Hunting. Playable when making a Pirate Raid with Tripolitan Corsairs. Roll three additional dice. So this actually, this won't come into play until they get past my uh, blockade there. So let's roll my six dice first. The, technically, this, these rolls happen at uh, the same time. But let's just roll mine first to see what I'm dealing with. So I only sunk one of their Corsairs, all right? Now, and by the way, these different colored dice, technically, really, it doesn't matter, especially when you're doing it like this, where you're doing all the rolls separately. Um, but it's still nice just to kind of keep it keep it honest. Um, close for a lot. They only did one. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. You know what? On a pirate raid, th- this is actually their raid roll. Uh, but I rolled seven, so I need to roll six. Sorry. When they come out, they don't fire back at me. So I sunk one of their ships, one of their Corsairs. So now now what happens is they basically get past my ships into the open sea. All right, and there's six of them. So now let's roll six dice. There we go. Now, if they roll fives or sixes, they get gold. And you can see, wow. Four gold right off the bat. That's a third of the gold they need to end the game. All right. So already doing some serious damage to me. Uh, Oh, and then remember happy hunting, which lets them roll three more dice. So, you know what? Let's just... Oh, my God. All right. So in the first pirate raid, they've already got half the gold they need so yeah we're gonna have to be a little more proactive now being reactive is not working out and then they just they come back in they go back to the harbor and happy hunting gets discarded oh wait hold on i forgot this right here um so you know let's read through the different combat card triggers so we make sure we don't we don't miss one Play on the first successful Tripolitan Pirate Raid. Okay, so that one was definitely successful, so we'll be playing that here in just a second. Merchant Ship Converted. Then we have Uncharted Waters. Play if the Philadelphia runs aground is the Tripoli Bot's active event card. Mercenaries Desert. Play a General Eaton Attacks Dern is the American active event card. U.S. Signal Books Overboard. Play if the fir- play on the first Tripolitan Pirate Raid in 1805 or 1806. The guns of Tripoli play in any attack on Tripoli in 1805 or 1806 except for winter of 1805, unless the American event, um, unless the American active event card is assault on Tripoli. Always play if the American active event card is assault on Tripoli. Okay. All right. So now, um, since that pirate raid was successful, place one Tripolitan Corsair in the harbor of Tripoli. So they regained the Corsair that I had sunk. And this is honestly a not a great start for me. Okay. So I'm going to try to hold off on going in there for one more turn. We're going to play early deployment. All right. Take one American frigate from the following year. So we take this one from 1802. We're going to put it in there. Place it in the naval patrol zone. And that's discarded. All right. So now... Constantinople sends aid still isn't doesn't trigger. This doesn't trigger. So then we go back here. They're gonna raid again. All right. So this time I'm gonna roll eight dice, and I'm not gonna move them out every time. Uh, just it's no real reason to. Um, but just know so they're gonna move into the harbor here, into the patrol zone. All right. So I sank two this time, and now the remaining five are attacking merchant ships and they got two more gold okay now hopefully so that's moving into the winter now hopefully that's gonna be the last time they do any serious damage to me because now we're going to uh we'll play so we're gonna play this to move oh but we can only move two at a time oh man um, but yeah, we're still going to do it. We're still going to go in there. So we're going to play this. 
um, ignore that right there. We're just going to discard it so we can move two of my frigates into the harbor of Tripoli. And they're going to attack these Corsairs. So normally they roll two dice each. This is playable during naval combat. So now they're going to roll three dice each. And that, that card goes from the game. All right, so I need sixes as usual. Okay. So I sank two of them. But now remember, they are firing back at the same time. So they're going to roll five dice. They also need sixes here. They got one. So one of my ships is not sunk, it's damaged. And it goes into 1802. It'll be back beginning of 1802, which is the next turn. These are sunk. And this one goes back out into Tripoli. Or into the, the patrol zone of Tripoli. Okay, so now their turn. They constantly will send Zaid still doesn't trigger. Yusuf doesn't trigger. Five Corsairs doesn't trigger because there are not five Corsairs in Tripoli. So now we draw a card. Tunisian Corsairs raid. All right, so now normally this would just be for the Corsairs in the harbor of uh, Tunis would raid. But when you're playing solo, um, where is it? Yep, right here. Discard to perform the raid or build action. All right, so we discard it. And we're going to play Raid or Build. If a harbor, Algiers, Tangier, Tunis, or Tripoli, has at least three Corsairs and more Corsairs than American and Swedish frigates in the corresponding naval patrol zone, raid from that harbor. Otherwise, place a Tripolitan Corsair in the harbor of Tripoli. Well, now it does have three Corsairs, but I have three frigates. Okay, So it's not going to raid. Instead, it's going to build a new Corsair here. All right, that's their turn. We're now in the spring of 1802. These three frigates come out in Gibraltar and I draw six cards. My maximum hand size is eight, uh, which I believe, let's see. Yeah, I had two cards left in my hand. There's six new ones, so let's see what we've got. All right, these are the two we already had. So then we also have Marine Sharpshooters. Playable at the start of a, of a land battle. All Marine infantry units hit on a roll of five or six for each round of combat. Normally they hit on just a six. Assault on Tripoli. Playable in the fall of 1805. The fall of, the fall of 1805. Move all American frigates and gunboats to the harbor of Tripoli. Move Hammett's army from Benghazi to Tripoli. And or play send in the Marines. Resolve the assault on Tripoli. Naval movement, move up to four American frigates, resolve any battles that result. Uh, same thing. Bainbridge supplies intel. Take any card from the American discard pile and either place it in hand or play it immediately. Constantinople demands tribute. The Tripolitan player must return two gold coins to the supply. Uh, and then Marine sharpshooters. Okay, so... Let's think about what we want to do here. I think we're actually going to play naval movement. Uh, we want to. We have four corsairs here. Um, if we don't get another frigate here, then they'll raid when they do raid or build. So we'll definitely move one here. Um, I think for now I'll move my fifth one here as well. But then this one I'm going to move to Dern. And do a naval bombardment over at Dern just to start. Actually, I'll move two to Dern because I have four here. I have enough to prevent them from raiding right now. All right, so what we're doing over in Dern is we're going to start softening them up for Hammett's army. Um, we're doing a naval bombardment. So we need sixes. No sixes. And then these guys go back to the friendly city of Malta afterwards. All right, so then over here we've got Yusuf, this, or Constantinople since A doesn't happen. Yusuf still doesn't happen. Because remember, this, this is waiting for friendly cities to start fighting on their side. Uh, five Corsairs doesn't happen because there's only four. So U.S. supplies run low. 
So let's see. If there are exactly two American frigates in the Naval Patrol Zone of Tripoli, play immediately. Otherwise, discard to perform raid or build. All right, so obviously we have more than two here in the Naval Patrol Zone. So we discard it to do raid or build. And we know that with raid or build, uh, there are there are more three or more here, but they're not more than the number of frigates, so they're going to build. And now we know, though, that we're going to need to attack them because they're going to do the five core series check next time. Because neither, you know, as long as either one of these trigger, they'll do five core series check and come out and raid. All right, summer of 1802. We're going to do naval movement again, but this time we're moving all four of these guys. Oh, I just realized something. I just realized something. I messed up here, y'all. I'm not going to retcon it, but I will, I, I, I will a little bit, but I won't be able to retcon the full thing. All right, so with naval combat, all, the last thing here, all surviving American gunboats and undamaged frigates are moved to Malta. So really, so hold on. We can, we can retcon a little bit of this. But then I would have changed some of the stuff I did. All right. So what should have happened after I attacked that time before was these guys went back to Malta, right? But then I played some stuff to move some guys around, and I wouldn't have gone to Dern. I would have moved back into Tripoli's naval uh, patrol zone. And since I didn't kill anybody in Dern, we're basically we'll we'll do that for now. Um, in order to retcon it as best we can. Sorry about that. I remember that from now on. That that some, one rule is the one that I've, for whatever reason, had trouble remembering. I just need to remember that whenever I battle, I'm pretty much always going back to Malta to like regroup, restock on supply, that sort of thing. But anyway, now we're playing naval movement. Move up to four American frigates and resolving battles. I'm going to move all four here. And, and into the harbor of Tripoli. So again, we're rolling eight. Are you kidding me? I didn't roll any sixes. That's really bad for me, y'all. This is not good. Um, okay, they're rolling five. Oh. They rolled one six, so one of these guys goes here. Nope, goes here. The rest of them now. See, this is why it's real bad. I didn't kill any of them. They're gonna raid now, almost for sure. Let's see. Because this doesn't trigger, that doesn't trigger. Oh, so this does trigger. Five course series check. They're gonna raid. They roll five dice. They get two more gold. Jeez. Okay. All right, so let's go and move to fall. Now, I am in a bit of trouble here. I have definitely, I took a gamble. I took a gamble with some of these attacks instead of just trying to contain it. I took a gamble by not trying to contain uh, those Corsairs here in Gibraltar at the beginning of the game and letting them come to Tripoli. And I'm down to two gold pieces. So this is not good. This may be a very short game. Um, I'm trying to decide... I either need to play uh, Constantinople Demands Tribute in order to get some of those gold pieces back. Or I could just try to contain... You know what I think first is I need to try to avoid any further raiding. So, so I'm going to play Bainbridge Supplies Intel. And so I'm going to take from my discard pile. That lets me take any card from the discard pile. I either put it in my hand or play it immediately. I'm going to play Naval Movement again. Move up to four American frigates. Resolve any battles that happen. But I'm going to move all four of these just... All right, so hopefully having these four here will uh, contain them coming out and, and raiding. We'll see. I haven't had a whole lot of luck so far, but we've got to do something here because this is getting out of hand real quick. So Constantinople sends A doesn't happen. Yusuf doesn't happen. Five Corsairs check. If there are five or more Corsairs, there are. They're going to do a pirate raid, okay? So here we go. We're going to try to intercept. We roll eight dice to intercept. Need sixes. We got two. All right, so we sunk two of them. So that's good. 
All right, but three get through into the open water. So if they get three or if they get two fives or sixes, then that's the game, y'all. Shortest game ever. Fortunately, we're good. Okay, all right. That could be a turning point for us right there. All right, so that moves to winter. Uh, I think now we will, now that we have that buffer there, we are going to go ahead and do Constantinople demands tribute. The Tripolitan player must return two gold coins to the supply. There we go. So we're at four now. Again, that doesn't trigger. That doesn't trigger. This doesn't trigger. So now we draw a card. We've got Tunis declares war. All right, so this one is going to be played immediately. Place three Tunisian Corsairs in the harbor of Tunis. All right, so next up, move back to spring, 1803. These two come out, so we got those in Gibraltar. And now we have four cards. We're going to draw six, but we can only keep eight. So the cards we got here, move Hamas army from Dern to Benghazi. Well, that's not happening now. Okay, but but that's the f uh, I mean that is an important card, so I might want to hold on to that. But move three American frigates to the harbor of an active ally of Tripoli. Return oh that one we definitely want to hold on to. So this one we definitely will keep. The treaty can't play that till fall of eighteen oh five, so it's not super important to hold on to. Uh, Corsairs confiscated playable if there are Tripolitan Corsairs in the harbor of Gibraltar. Return all of the Corsairs. Okay, well, there aren't any. There aren't any. That would have been good at the very beginning of the game. Um, so not super important there. Launch the Intrepid. Roll a die. Apply the result. Uh, one Tripolitan Corsair is sunk. One Tripolitan Frigate is sunk. If none are available, then two Corsairs. We'll definitely keep that. Hammer recruits. Um, Badoons. Uh, playable if Hammett's army has been created. Play two additional Arab infantry into Hammett's army. Uh, not quite yet, because again, that can't be till 1804, but 1804 is coming up. You know what? Let's hold on to that. Um, all right, so hold on. Let's see now. Yeah, all right. And so then uh, we will grab General Eaton attacks Benghazi as well. The other two get discarded. All right. So now we're at eight cards. Okay. For my first play, I'm going to definitely go with a show of force. Move three American frigates to the harbor of an active ally of Tripoli. So we're going to play this. So we're going to move these two to the harbor of Tunis and this one to the harbor of Tunis. Return all of the Corsairs from the harbor to the supply. So that takes care of those guys. I go back over here. And that's my turn. All right, so. Nope, nope. Still doesn't have five, so we draw a card. We've got the Philadelphia runs aground, which is also going to trigger uncharted waters. All right, so first, playable if there's at least one American frigate in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. There's four. Roll one die and apply the result. But this says... Roll two dice instead of one and choose the preferred result. All right. So, so here we go. Let's see what they do. Whoa, they got, okay. So six is, oh, by the way, these guys would have gone back out into the, into the uh, patrol zone there. Um, frigate capture. Take the American frigate as sunk and place one Tripolitan frigate in the harbor of Tripoli instead. Wow. Okay, so... I move that gold where you can see it. So remember, if they sink four of my frigates, they win. But now they've got their own frigate. That's a problem. Okay. Well, I think in response to that, I am going to play Swedish Frigates Arrive. So these two are going to come here. They're just there to assist with pirate raids. They won't actually do any attacking, like going into the harbor. But we've got them there just in case uh, the raiding. Oh, wait, I forgot to do this. Forgot to move that. Summer. Okay. So hopefully that, that will shore that up even more. Let's see. Okay. We've got sweet. Oh, 
Wow. Playable if it is 1803 or later, and there are Swedish frigates in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Return the Swedish frigates to the supply and receive two gold coins. Holy crap. Well, that was not a good tactic. Wow, I just shot myself in the foot there. Okay, moving on to fall. Well, I think we're going to play Launch the Intrepid. Roll one die and apply the result. Now, did I have... Yes. All right. The Daring Stephen Decatur, I'll play that as well. Allows me to roll two dice instead of one and choose the preferred result when playing this card. Two threes. One Tripolitan Corsair is sunk. I was hoping to get the, the frigate. No such luck. Troops to Tripoli. I believe this plays immediately. Yep. Place two Tripolitan infantry in the city of Tripoli. All right, moving on to winter. All right, so none of, I can't play any of these cards for their special effect. What I can do, though, is simply um, move. I can move two. Uh, I'm going to use this one. If I play this, I can move. Oh, or I could build a gunboat. I haven't been using my gunboats, and they can help keep my frigates alive. Let's do that. Or, no, not yet. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Use it to move two frigates. This one is going to go to Alexandria because we're going to set up my infantry here in the spring of 1804. This one is just going to go take a pot shot at Dern. Just shell the city real quick, see what's going on. So I need sixes. Five and a four, nothing happens. So he goes back to Malta. That one stays over there. Meanwhile... We've got Algerian Corsairs Raid. Now, in the solo game, when you pull this, we're going to discard to perform the raid or build action. So, yeah, so uh, we're going to just build another Corsair here. All right, so that moves back to spring. 1804, that guy comes out to Gibraltar. And the first thing I'm going to do is play uh, Hammett's Army Created. Okay, so we're going to... We need at least one American frigate in the harbor of Alexandria, which we have. Place one Marine and five Arab units. All right, so there we go. And so that's my turn. Still nothing, still nothing. They don't have five Corsairs. So we've got troops to Dern. Playable if Hammond's army has not captured Dern. All right. And this one does get played immediately. Place two Tripolitan infantry in the city of Dern. And it's summer of 1804. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to draw these additional cards at the beginning of 1804. Fortunately, I, the only thing that's happened is I played Hammett's Army. Um, so let's see here. Let's see what we've got. We've got Burn the Philadelphia. Playable if there's at least one Tripolitan frigate in the, ar in the harbor of Tripoli. Okay. Which there is. So that one we're definitely keeping. So, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got to get rid of one. Send in the Marines... Assault on Tripoli will not be the active card this time. Oh, wait, do I actually have a assault? I have Assault on Tripoli in here. We're not going to get to that yet. So, so now we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So let's look at this, though. What else do we have? Playable start of a land battle. Select one Marine infantry unit to roll three dice instead of one during each round of combat. Naval movement move up to four American frigates. Lieutenant Starrett in pursuit playable when making an interception roll. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. Marine sharpshooters, which that, that one we already had. Okay. Let's try to soften up Dern real quick. We're going to do naval movement. I'm going to move four. So one, two, three, and four. So that's going to be eight dice for Shell in the City. Are you kidding me? Zero. I've been rolling just awful today. Zero sixes. So all of them go back. Oh, all of them go back over here to Malta in shame. And then Yusuf draws a card. Moroccan Corsairs raid. So we're going to do 
uh, raid or build, and it's going to be build. All right, so they're still, let's see. See, now they might raid because they have four Corsairs, so that's more than there are ships. So there's definitely a possibility they might raid here. All right, so we're in the fall now. See, I'm thinking I might want to play Thomas Jefferson to bring one of these here and the other three into Tripoli and have a naval battle. Even though Thomas Jefferson can, can move eight at a time, but... Let's, we're going to do that. That might not be the best move. So we're going to move one here. That way, if they don't kill anybody, the they, these guys still can't raid. And then we're going to move in there, and here we go. So they're going to end up firing six shots. We got one. We got one six, all right? All right, and according to the solo rules, that hit will go to a Corsair. And these guys go back to Malta. Tripoli attacks. Move all Tripolitan frigates and Corsairs from the harbor of Tripoli to the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. I'm going to make sure that this does happen right away. Nope. Okay. It says, it's the, these say, if there is exactly one American frigate in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli and there are at least five dice worth of Tripolitan ships, play immediately. Otherwise, discard and perform raid or build. All right. So it's going to be a raid or build. And this will be a build. Winter of 1804. We're going to do burn the Philadelphia. So we roll a die. We're trying to basically trying to take this guy out. Roll a five. A Tripolitan frigate is sunk. Fantastic. And then they will troops to Benghazi. So two infantry to Benghazi. All right. So spring of 1805. So now we got to keep in mind. With the battle cards, this one is now a possibility. Play on the first Tripolitan raid in 1805 or 1806. U.S. signal books overboard. And the guns of Tripoli. Play in any attack on Tripoli in 1805 or 1806, except for winter of 1805. All right. Unless the American active event card is assault on Tripoli, in which case it would still happen in winter of 1805. And always play if the American active event card is assault on Tripoli. All right, well, so now we need to take the discard pile, shuffle it up. We've got six cards in hand already, so we're gonna have to, let's see what we got here. Corsairs confiscated. Nope, we don't need that. Let's see, how close are we to this? Fall of 1805 or later, we're coming up on that. The cities of Algiers, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace, they are. The city of Dern has been captured, and it's not. No Tripolitan. So really, if I capture the city of Dern, then I can end this thing with the treaty. So we're definitely taking the treaty into hand. Naval movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think we're going to forget about trying to march all the way across to Tripoli. We're only going to focus on Dern. And that card is still in here. So, so we're going to get rid of this one and take... What was it? Bainbridge Supplies Intel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, or actually, let's see. We're not going to do a south on Tripoli, so we can get rid of that and take another naval movement. So I think my best course of action right now, since I don't have the card to attack Dern yet, is going to be to actually try to soften Dern up. Leave these guys here to contain Tripoli, but soften Dern up. So, all right. So, naval movement. We will send those three frigates into Dern. That's going to be six shots. Finally got one six, so that's one infantry gone. So they have five infantry left versus my six that'll be coming in right now. So none of this triggers. So again, another card. Tunisian Corsairs Raid. So that's going to be Raid or Build. And again, they do have at least three Corsairs, but they do not have more Corsairs than I have Frigates. So they're going to build another one. 
That puts them at five, five Corsairs, though, which means that they will do a pirate raid next time, almost for sure. All right, summer 1805. We're going to head into Dern again. Okay, let's keep trying to soften them up. Was that five, six, yep. Oh, here we go. We got two sixes that time. Perfect. Now we're making some progress. Then, um, no, no. Five Corsairs check. If there are five or more Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli, they perform a pirate raid. All right. So they're coming out. I'm obviously going to intercept. I'm going to play Lieutenant Starrett in Pursuit Playable when making an interception roll, which I'm about to do. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. So I'm going to roll 12 dice. So there's eight. Let's get four more. Every six will sink a Corsair. One, two. I got two sixes out of all that. All right, so two of these are gone. Now remember though, they only need they only need two gold. They only need two gold to beat me. All right, so five or six. They're they're technically out here now. Remember that? They're going up against merchant ships. They got one. They got one gold. So I'm down to one left. This is going to be real close. All right. So that's fall now. I think I might need to go in and and come after these guys just to prevent them from raiding. So I'll do Bainbridge Supplies Intel. Take any card from the American from the American discard pile and either place it in hand or play it immediately. I'm going to do naval movement. So all four of these guys will move into Tripoli. Now, this is risky, though, because by doing this, I am, if if I don't, oh, man. Oh, do I want to do this? No, 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 no. Not Those four will stay here. I'll leave them here to, for containment. These three will move in. All right. Because remember, after I do this, then I go back to Malta. After naval combat, I go back to Malta. Oh, man, look at that. No sixes. So... Okay. Second storms. So if there is a naval patrol zone with at least two American frigates, play immediately. Otherwise, add to the end of the event card line. Well, there is. So we will play this immediately. Select a naval patrol zone that contains at least one American frigate. Roll a die for each frigate. The first six rolled sinks a frigate. Each additional six damages a frigate and is placed on the uh, and is placed on the following year of the year turn track. So basically, got to roll four of these. No sixes. We're good. Okay. Glad I'm not the only one that can't roll sixes. Oh, not yet. So winter of 1805. I think right now we're going to work on just containment. Oof. Which one do I want to get rid of? I'll use Lieutenant O'Bannon leads the charge to just move two more ships into the Tripoli patrol zone. Tripoli is going to Algeria. They're going to do Raider Build, which will be Build. Okay, so now we are in the final year, 1806. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hold on. I messed up here. This should have happened. Ah, I forgot about these battle cards. Oh. Playable after any interception roll that includes an American frigate. Randomly draw one card from the American player's hand and place it in the discard pile. Well, we can still do that because I did an interception roll a second ago. All right. So we lost Hammett recruit. So we basically lost two additional Arab units. All right. And I did that attack on Tripoli with those three. With when the, the three from Malta, these three which should have triggered the guns of Tripoli. Playable during a naval battle in the harbor of Tripoli, the Tripoli fleet may roll an additional 12 dice. Um, okay. So let's do that real quick, see if any of these guys survive. So there's eight, 12. 
Oh my goodness, there are zero sixes. So it didn't matter. Fantastic. So, so that guy's still there. These two guys are still there. Wow. Okay. Now I draw the remainder of these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to get rid of one. Assault on Tripoli. We're not doing that. So there we go. So here we go. General Eaton attacks Dern. All right. So we're going to play General. Well, actually, hold on. Do we have anything to buff up? Marine Sharpshooters for sure. Um, you know what? Before, Actually, before we do the att attack Dern, we're down to one gold piece. Let's play Constantinople Demands Tribute again. Get two gold pieces back, so we're back up to three. Just so they don't sneak a win out from under us. All right, and so now... Morocco declares war. Three Moroccan Corsairs in the harbor of Tangier. So they are capable of taking me out. Oh, so now we're in the summer. This is going to be a close one, y'all. We're doing a show of force. Take three American frigates into Tangier. These guys leave the board again, and they go into the patrol zone. All right? So, because if I let them stay, then this would have triggered. Uh, pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor. So, um, from, from not only Tripoli, but each active ally, and that would have been real bad. Okay. Because there's no, I just feel confident they would have gotten my goal at that point. All right, so now, 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 let's. General Eaton attacks Dern, okay? Move Hammett's army from Alexandria to Dern. Now, when this happens, though, they're also going to play this. Play well at the start of a land battle. Before the battle starts, roll one die for each Arab infantry unit. For each six, take an Arab infantry unit and return it to the supply. So I have five of those. I'm going to roll five dice. Each six is going to get rid of one of my... Infantry, no sixes. All right. So they move into Dern, okay? All right, so that's gone. Now, while they're in Dern, I am going to play Marine Sharpshooters. Playable at the start of a land battle. All Marine Infantry units hit on a roll of five or six for each round of combat. Normally, it's just six. So that's for the Marines. I had this one Marine there, but still. So what we'll do... We'll, the Arab infantry will be yellow here, and the Marine will be blue. All right. Oh, okay. That's right. I forgot. Three American frigates go there too. So they come in first. They're gonna do. Uh, they're gonna bombard the city first. Nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. So the American player goes first. We got a six, so that's one of their infantry gone. Now they attack. Nothing. Got two sixes. That's the rest of them. So I have successfully conquered Dern. These guys go back to Malta. And if you look, I believe we now on our next turn... Fall of 1805, it will be the fall of... Uh, it's well past, actually. I'm sorry. We're in 1806 now, so good there. Cities of Algiers, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace. They are. The city of Dern has been captured. It has. There are no Tripolitan frigates in the harbor of Tripoli. Oh, no. Actually, hold on. Because watch this. I've taken Dern now, right? That's going to trigger Constantinople sends aid. Playable of Hamas Army has captured Dern. Place one Tripolitan frigate in and two Tripolitan Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli. They're not going down without a fight. And then two infantry units in Tripoli. Now, they're really not going to matter because we're not going to actually try to take Tripoli, but those are a problem. Specifically, the frigate. All right, so now we're in the fall. I need to get, take care of that frigate is the problem. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna have, we're gonna have to go in there. We have to keep fighting them and try to do enough damage that the frigate is taking out. But that's the last thing they'll let me kill. This was I'm not I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull this off, y'all. Naval movement. So these three plus this one will go in. That's eight dice. Oh whoa, that's three. I don't. I still don't think it's going to be quite good enough. But that's three. And 
And then, oh, but but actually though, hold on, it's naval combat. Oh my gosh, I think I did. I forget this last time too, y'all. I think I may have forgotten on that last naval combat to have the Tripolitan Corsairs retaliate uh, or fire because they fire at the same time. So I apologize if I did that. Not feeling well today, um, but uh, I'm a little bit sick. It's nothing serious. But uh, anyway, so let's see. We got two, and we need, because those three still count. So it's going to be eight total, two for the, for the frigate. And they did one, so one of these ships is basically gone. He's not sunk, he's just damaged. And these guys go back to Malta. Okay, so... Tripoli acquires Corsairs, plays two Tripoli. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I pull this off, y'all. All right, because this is the last turn. We're just going to... All I can do is send two frigates in there just to, you know, fire off a last salvo. I don't get anything. And they fire back to one, two, three, four, five... Oof, they damaged another one. And the only reason, by the way, the damage, the only reason it's going up there is because it's the final year. There's no, normally I would get them back in the next year. So that's why the damaged ones are going up there. He goes up there, and then they actually have, oh no, they have five. So they're going to go on, on a raid. I'm going to roll six dice to try to stop them. I sink two Corsairs. They don't fire back when they're going on pirate raids. Now they're gonna roll three dice because that's how many Corsairs are left. Frigates don't go on pirate raids. They did not get any gold. So the game ends in a tie, y'all. Nobody wins, nobody loses. So there you go, that's Shores of Tripoli. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also wanna mention that we have a giveaway going on until the 31st of January. So a few more days left for you to get in on this. Be sure to check that out. This uh, There should be a link up here with all the uh, the different uh, links in the cards there. So be sure to check that out. It's our second annual purge giveaway. So uh, I got six games that are going to be going to one person. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.